second normal form the second phase or step in the normalization process hello and welcome you all to this video where we will simplify about second normal form previously i have simplified first normal form and partial dependency these are some prerequisites for this video you need to understand these concepts before understanding second normal form so check them out too after removing multivalued and complex attributes in first normal form we are going to normalize the table furthermore in second normal form so without wasting any time let's start after a short intro so as we studied previously for a table to be in the first normal form it has to satisfy some conditions similar to that for a table to be in a second normal form it has to satisfy some conditions as well what are those let us see first condition is that the table must be in first normal form as it cannot be in second normal form if it is not in first normal form seems pretty logical and the second condition is that the table must not have any partial dependency present in it so if these two conditions are satisfied by a table or a relation we can state that the table is in second normal form i have already posted a video on first normal form and also on partial dependency so i won't go in depth in these concepts but we will see more of examples for a better understanding let us see both conditions one by one first condition is table or relation must be in first normal form there are two conditions for 1nf no multivalued attributes and no composite attributes so if i show you this table and ask whether it is in first normal form or 1nf what will be the answer answer is it is not in 1nf because this attribute mobile number is multivalued it has two values for each tuple so it is not in 1nf if we modify this table into this then it can be in 1nf because each column is single valued let us take another example is this table in 1nf answer again is no courses attribute is multi valued again to solve it we can make these following changes and then we can say it is in 1nf see this following table it does not have any multi valued attribute is it in 1nf again the answer is no it does not contain multi valued attribute but it contains attribute name a composite attribute which can be further divided so again this is not in 1nf we can modify it like this to make it in 1nf consider this table and check if it is in 1nf this also is not in 1nf you must have guessed it until now yes it contains composite attribute address to make it into 1nf we can modify it like this so let us take one last example this table is in 1nf as it has no composite and no multi valued attributes present in it so hope you understood the first condition for the table to be in second normal form second condition is there must not be any partial dependency let us understand this also with an example let us consider this table to check whether there is a partial dependency in a table first thing you need to identify is candidate key in this table just by using student id can we identify the complete tuple no there is redundancy present in it similarly using course id we cannot identify complete tuple it also has redundancies same is the condition with course fee so if you look up closely by using student id and course id we can identify the complete tuple that is student id and course id closure will give us values of all attributes so we can conclude that student id and course id together form a candidate key there is only one candidate key in this table next step is to differentiate 
प्राइम एट्रीब्यूट्स एंड नॉन प्राइम एट्रीब्यूट्स प्राइम एट्रीब्यूट्स आर एट्रीब्यूट्स प्रेजेंट इन द कैंडिडेट की इन अवर केस स्टूडेंट आई डी एंड कोर्स आई डी रिमेनिंग ऑल एट्रीब्यूट्स विच आर नॉट पार्ट ऑफ कैंडिडेट की और कैंडिडेट कीज आर नॉन प्राइम एट्रीब्यूट्स इन दिस केस कोर्स फी इज अ नॉन प्राइम एट्रीब्यूट सो पार्शल डिपेंडेंसी डेफिनेशन स्टेट्स दैट इफ अ नॉन प्राइम एट्रीब्यूट इज डिटरमाइंड बाय अ पार्ट ऑफ कैंडिडेट की दैट फंक्शनल डिपेंडेंसी इज अ पार्शियल डिपेंडेंसी लेट अस चेक स्टूडेंट आई डी एंड कोर्स आई डी डिटरमाइंस कोर्स फी इज वन ऑफ द फंक्शनल डिपेंडेंसीज इन दिस केस कंप्लीट कैंडिडेट की डिटरमाइंस नॉन प्राइम एट्रीब्यूट अदर दैन दैट इफ यू सी बाय यूजिंग कोर्स आई डी वी कैन यूनिकली आइडेंटिफाई कोर्स फी सो दिस कैन ऑल्सो बी अ फंक्शनल डिपेंडेंसी नव इन दिस केस अ नॉन प्राइम एट्रीब्यूट कोर्स फी इज डिटरमाइंड बाय पार्ट ऑफ कैंडिडेट की दैट इज कोर्स आई डी सो दिस फंक्शनल डिपेंडेंसी ओवर हियर इज अ पार्शियल डिपेंडेंसी and while this is present table cannot be in the second normal form so we found partial dependency in this table to eliminate this partial dependency we will split this one table into two so what does eliminating partial dependency does so this tries to reduce the redundant data from getting stored in the memory imagine there are thousands of students and records of those students are stored course fee is same for a particular course id but it will get stored thousands of times due to partial dependency so this elimination of redundancy is the aim of second normal form so if these two conditions are satisfied then only we can say that the table is in second normal form so This is all about second normal form. Hope you understood the concept very well. In the upcoming videos we will cover the remaining normal forms. So stay tuned. If my videos help you in clearing the concept and your doubts, leave a like and share the video with others in need. Check out other videos on my channel. And for more such amazing videos, subscribe my channel Making IT Simple and press the bell icon. to get latest video notifications see you in the next video thank you